Hi, Gemini. Happy birthday, Gemini sun signs. Oh, wow. I feel like Aries had this very similar energy. Hmm. 12th house, Scorpio and the sun. You're reconciling some endings that have occurred. There's a separation. Looks like something's going to shift, though. You may have uh, sabotaged yourself and you're realizing this. So you have temporary problems. This is good. Where's Gemini in this energy today? Family sorrow. Great personal sorrow. Okay. That's what this 12th house is. You will receive a gift. All right. Two cards of sorrow. You may be very sad. Something has happened that you may feel, you know, you have to um, heal from. There's some healing. It's feeling as though you've suffered a loss even. But this is isolation as well. You could have been feeling very isolated. I feel like you put yourself in isolation to handle emotional disruption. Absolutely. Okay. Something is coming up into your psyche. So you can heal. So who is in Gemini's reading? Torch and goal-oriented person. Wow, this is like a gladiator type energy coming in. You do have someone, yeah, absolutely, the tiger. This could be a fire sign. There's a lot of fire here. This person is very driven for sure. It's coming in super strong. So here, um, it's like I'm getting martial arts, gladiator, some kind of physical activity that this person could be involved in, but their energy is speaking this as well. Like very strong, courageous, kind of brave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness and understanding and then they're coming in with target goal-oriented person let's see what's going on here this tiger could be year of the tiger for some someone maybe year of the tiger fifth house mercury okay yeah what's the energy between this just flew out okay Exactly. They're going to be coming in to communicate something with you. And that is for sure. This is someone who feels they need to say something or do something to bring in some sort of understanding between you two. You're going to hear from them. I don't know if you want to, but they do feel very attracted to you. Wow. Look at this. So you're going, yeah, soulmate was just there again. So they're seeing this twice. Twin flame, soul contract, soul connection, past lives. This person is coming in with a very lusty energy. Maybe this is the dynamic that you guys share. It says casual relationship, but also a lot of lust, irresistible, flirting, magnetic attraction. They're going to come and tell you how they are feeling about your dynamic. So you're, you're kind of going through a personal situation. Give me one on Gemini. Why is Gemini in this? Yeah, breakup. So you're going through an ending. Yeah, so it's super interesting that you, you're going through a shift, right? something has transitioned or transformed you're maybe mourning even uh could be but then this person is somehow feeling guided toward you during this process give me one on the person who's this tiger individual party um Someone could be very large. I'm getting the energy of someone's energy is very large. So it, it could translate to their physical body as well. Like somebody could be into fitness or their personality just really emanates and fills a room kind of energy. Unexpected heartbreak and party. Yeah. Someone's trying to get you to... um uplift like a uplifted mood gemini okay show me gemini in this reading four of wands okay page of wands you actually have really good news coming in 
So the Ten of Wands, okay, you may be telling someone that you are looking for a change, you need to get out of an energy, you may need to get out of the house for some of you, or you're moving, there's a shift here. There's a lot of tension in your environment. Why is family sorrow and teardrops here? Queen of Wands, this could be about a fire sign or a Sagittarius. Yeah, Aries, Sagittarius. You care about someone a lot. There's tension there or something that you are purging, emotionally speaking. Um, yeah, something has become very difficult in that in that arena. You're you're going to be brought out of an energy, Gemini. Tell me about the clouds temporary problems. So this is the first card here. Maybe you're just having a disagreement with a family member, right? Or someone that you care about quite a bit that you live with even. Tell me why the clouds is here. Yeah, six of wands. Here's the deal. Something is solving. Yeah, especially your relationship with a person is solving. It's the queen of wands. You're upset with a dynamic. Um, this fire sign is coming in. And they're going to cheer you up or you are going to reconcile your relationship with somebody. It looks like you're very sad. Maybe you've been crying and you feel like your life is over or very sad energy. Gemini, I don't, I don't recall seeing this in your energy. Okay. Again, something has been disrupted, but you're meant to know that if you had maybe a breakup with someone or a falling out with this fire sign, they're coming in. Okay. You are going to heal your relationship with this fire sign. Now, if someone has transitioned, I mean, that's just a process that you're going through. Okay, show me the person in the reading. Someone is coming in. They're going to be uh, talking about lust, love, um, you know, <laughs> a lot of exciting energy there. They could be wanting to come to your place. It's like your place or mine. Someone is going to be wooing you. It's the person in the reading, okay? Okay. You could be sad about something else even. Okay. Let me see who this is. Oh, yeah. This is a bunch of like, this person is hot for you. Very hot. They're trying to get you to, you know, put your walls down. You rolled your window up on this person. And it's like you wanted them to not care or something. But they're going to prove to you that they actually do. This person is very physically active toward you. This is someone who's very turned on. Maybe they're very pent up. They're very horny. That's their energy very strongly that way. And this could be someone who could be an F boy or an F girl, or they have the physique of that. So they can do this to whoever they want. Okay. Someone's physique is very, you know, it just does it for you. Or maybe it does it for a lot of people, whatever that is, their energy is very highly seductive and they know it and they use it. You know, they use their body, their energy to get what they want. That's who this is. Show me who this is. Yeah. The 10 of wands. Okay. Okay. A ten of cups. What? Judgment. They're going to come toward you. Yeah, this queen of wands. This queen of wands individual looks like a fire sign. Um, yeah, they could be primarily fire, maybe a little bit of water. That's what they've been looking like. But definitely, they're coming to get close to you here. Yeah, Sagittarius, something like that. Okay. Hmm, why is the tower here? Yeah, you're not expecting this offer, Gemini. You really aren't. Like, um, you're not expecting them coming through. It looks like you're going to be really happy about that. This person really pays attention to their aesthetic. I don't know. <laughs> they could be like, they want to look a certain way. They want to dress a certain way. They want to smell a certain way. Like they really do pay attention to that and they're coming toward you. Okay. I don't know if this person had work done. It could be like, this could be someone who had like plastic surgery or, you know, they really just pay attention to aesthetics or this is you, whatever. How does this person see Gemini though? 
very attractive energy coming in. Wow, they see you as Hierophant. Are you committed? Ace of Cups. Someone sees commitment in your energy. Maybe you're committed to true love or um, you could be already dealing with someone. This person feels like you, you're talking to some... Who is this? Okay. You may have already been talking to this person, but you have felt them to be non-committal in that way. This person sees that you're seeking commitment or you're seeking something more serious than whatever has been happening prior. Okay. This person feels like you kind of disconnected from them. You're not really interested to talk to them very often with this five of cups, the three of cups energy. You have basically left them in the dust. That's what they, they're saying. With this 10 of swords, that's your energy. You could feel like you don't know where to place them. Maybe they feel this way about you. It's like, okay, well, Gemini is commitment material, but I'm an F boy or an F girl. Okay. That's what this is looking like. Let me see their intentions though. Why do they see Gemini with the Ace of Cups, the higher font, the two of swords? Because um, the thing is, I feel like you could be kind of upset that someone is not offering you your full potential, your full capacity. And I can understand. Yeah, it does make sense here because you're looking for for something more serious you don't want like the romance i mean you, maybe you do but it's not about you know short-term fulfillment you're looking for long-term is what it looks like gemini whichever gemini i'm speaking to today it's nice to talk to you it's fun it's all that but you know um something's just not doing it for me that's how they see you they see you as Maybe you you look like you don't care at this point or you've disconnected. Come to find out you're actually really sad. And I think you do care more than more than you're letting on. Okay. What's this person's true intentions though? Because they're coming in with lust. Like they're even sending you sex and sex or texting you sexy messages and pictures. I'm seeing that very strongly. It's like they're in their bed or they're in their home, literally sending you like photos like this. They could be sending you D pics or V pics or whatever they got going on, right? That's what they're doing. I'm seeing balloons, something about balloons. It could be someone's party, a celebration going on. I feel like this person, they go out and then they message you or it could be. That's a side note. Like someone could go like have a drink or spend time somewhere and then they're thinking about you. So they come home and they're sending you these naughty photos, images or text messages. They're sexting with you. What is this person's true intentions with Gemini? Devil. Yeah, I'm telling you. Extreme uh, fertility, extreme libido in this person's energy. They know it. They 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 embody this energy. It's very sultry, seductive. They know. They know that. Okay, what else? Five of Pentacles. Really? Okay, what's all this? Ace of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. They even are on the lookout for... A Capricorn or a Taurus, they watch to see if that person is around. It could be an earth sign that they're they're well, there's a little bit of jealousy in the background. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. What's this? This is a secret endeavor that they have going on. It could be an earth sign. You may have been upset by this in the past. There you are. There's an earth sign here that's causing upset. But you, wow, hold on. What's this? Oh, damn, this is a lot of, um, gosh, you guys are on the same page regarding like seduction or like your energy just flows in that way. You know it, like the chemistry is off the charts. But can you base a relationship off of that? That's the question in this reading. It's looking like it's not. You may be feeling that way. That's why you're trying to disconnect from someone or this is what happened. There's someone here in the dark in the shadows as well. Okay. Yeah. What is, what does Gemini know about that? Okay. Someone's giving attention in the wrong place or, or, You feel like someone spread very thin here. You know about this. That's for sure. All right. So this person's intentions. They're not. No. I'm hearing nocturnal. What's this two of wands? All right. What's going on? 
they want some sense of forgiveness with you. This is someone who they take a long time. They drag their feet. The three of swords. Yeah. This person will be dragging their feet with you. That's their intentions. It's, um, I guess, in the coming period. What do, they, what do they want with Gemini? Let's see. Two of Pentacles. Right. Yeah. They're like, paint me like one of your French girls or something. This feels very seductive, but, you know, yeah, Queen of Wands. Here comes the opportunity, my dear. They do have juggling energy. Um, maybe you have another partner that they know about or somebody does. This is like a side piece energy. Okay. So, I mean, it is what it is, right? That's what it feels today. That's how they're presenting themselves, energetically speaking. So make make what you will of it, I suppose. So Gemini, please. What does Gemini want with this person? Let's see. Three of Swords. Yeah, see, that's the thing, though. You really, um, I feel like you ghosted them because you know, right. Yeah, here's the commitment. Okay, it's off the table. Maybe they lied about that. Or you just know that it's not going to result in that in this way. This person does not maybe have the funding or someone someone's funding is not very good uh this could be charity funding i don't know what that's about but maybe you feel like that's what this is it's like oh you're only doing this to make me feel a certain way or because it's like charity to you or this is how you feel it's like okay um i'm hearing quid pro quo okay it feels disingenuous i mean you're not being true to yourself here you know that Maybe somebody cannot afford a relationship even, or it just feels like I'm just giving of myself to you and not receiving. And then in that case, it's a charity case. Someone's a charity. Uh, I don't know if you're into charity or something could be. All right. But anyway, you're saying that this person is not very committable and they've already proven this to you, but here they come nonetheless. And I feel like you have feelings for this person, Gemini, at least you did at one point. And here they come in your moment of weakness, you know, trying to seduce you. And you're going to be hit up very strongly here. Gemini in the coming period, please, in general. There's your lovers, lovers, Gemini. The Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, interesting. Yeah, I do feel this. Mm, you've got two people coming your way. You've got romance, you've got love. Yeah, you've got lust as well. It's up to you what you want to make of this. What is Gemini doing right here? I also feel like you're driven towards long term. You're driven towards stability. You're looking at what people offer to a relationship in that way here because you're sitting at the table like, all right, let's map this thing out. You're being very proactive and smart. You, Your emotions are here, but I feel like you're considering other people's emotions. It's not about yours at this point. You're looking at what does this person feel for me as opposed to me feeling for them? I see what you're doing here. Yeah. The seven of wands. So maybe that's how you feel. I see what you're doing to this person. I see it. Okay. You've got a choice to make. This is in your control. And here comes the news that the person is coming in with this tower. Okay. What's, what's this news about? The five of wands. Ooh, chariot. Okay. What's this news with the five of wands? Ooh, there's an emotional expression coming in. Yep. Damn, Gemini. Someone's going to say, hey, this is what I want. This is what I need. Someone's going to also piss you off. Okay, here's the deal. You're dealing with a situation. Someone is marching in, talking about, I'm your person, or I want to do this with you. And I feel like at first you could be happy to hear from this person, but at the same time, you have to be realistic. And so here you're actually getting upset with someone in the coming period. It could be, you know, your feelings are getting involved. Again, water sign, fire sign, energy. Someone is getting uh, taken out of this, this dynamic. Um, there's some awkward energy and you're calling it quits with this 10 of swords. Okay. Who is this that Gemini is calling it quits with Asia Pentacles? Okay. Yeah. Four of swords, four, four, four is someone who feels entitled even, or that they are able to reach you and you're not making that possible. 
Where's Gemini in this right here? Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so um, another contender is entering, basically. So this is like a comp... Uh, Another lover is entering another like you're here working on this relationship, this full blown idea of the future. Right. And someone is barging their way into your life. You could be bonding with family a lot in the coming period as well. A lot of familial, you know, energies. Someone could crash a party. If you're spending time with family, someone may just show up and cause a commotion. I am seeing that. Show me this person in the coming period. Yeah, here they are offering to you yep can you tell me just one card what is the potential of this dynamic in the next couple months seven of pentacles right yeah and, I, and that's a thing too because i told you this person's dragging their feet and they are there's a lot of suspicious energy between you and whoever this is it's um they keep waiting, dragging their feet, procrastinating, never reaches some sense of satisfaction, or maybe you just don't like the way that you feel when you're around this person. It's kind of the energy. And it's more of a question than it is an answer. It's how come I don't know what the heck is going on? Like, what is this even? That's how this feels here. Where's Gemini in this? The seven of cups, because you're very confused. You're, this is how you know that you're always confused when you talk to this person. You don't really know the direction. You don't know what's going to happen. It's just always waiting and, you know, being in your feelings about a situation, but there's nothing tangible that you can hold, you know, touch, taste, smell here. That's what this is doing. I feel like your emotions become in disarray with this individual in the next few months. And that's the potential of it. So uh, this is up to you. Okay. Advice for, and I feel like you have a more stable option in your life anyway. That you could actually even be working on. Let's see. Who is this? Yeah, the two of wands. Exactly. Because there's someone here that's made it very clear that they're going to be working on a relationship with you. There is. There's someone. It has a lot more potential. So what is the advice for Gemini regarding this? Or a supportive beneficial energy that Gemini can focus on? I'm hearing suffer. Why suffer? A personal issue reaches resolution. Wow. You've got don't let pride get in your way. The end of a tough cycle. You and your loved ones are safe. This cancer energy here a lot. You may have a placement or you're working with the cancer a lot. You're dealing with the cancer, trying to work through, you know, family situations, dynamics. Um, something going on with your family that's causing strain, stress, this kind of thing. Okay, this issue is reaching resolution. We know this because it says temporary problems and something is being resolved for you here. That's what you need to focus on, resolving personal issues according to Oracle here. Okay, don't let pride get in your way, full moon. All right, so what will be a beneficial energy? Nothing is yet set in stone. Ah. Things are going to be shifting a lot. Um, remember that something is not permanent is what I want to say. Or it's not dialed in or it's not. Something is not. Yeah, it's not permanent yet. That's what this is talking about. Don't let your past hold you back. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah, you may be kind of. There's a wishy-washiness that could be coming in, especially with this water here. Someone is very wishy-washy, not set in stone. Yeah. Something about the past here. Okay. What is the beneficial supportive energy for the tiger? Lusty energy. Believe in the impossible. Surrender to the divine. <laughs> Be bold and make the first move. Well, I think that they are regardless. Um, Once in a blue moon. Yeah. Someone needs to surrender. It feels like surrender the impossible. It, it's almost like you're trying to make something happen when it's not. That's what I want to say here. Um, yeah. Surrender to the divine and believe in the impossible. Interesting. One more for this person. The energy is gaining momentum. 
All right. Yeah. It's beneficial to have a win-win outcome. Maybe this needs to come into consideration. Okay. Thank you so much, Gemini. Feel free to check previous future reads for more different information, your other placements, and I'll see you next time.